Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology. This video was designed to meet the needs of both ANP1 as well as ANP2 students. This video will be focused on demonstrating some of the tools that are available to students to assist in studying for your lecture component of your course. In this video, we will be accessing my lab and mastering in a Canvas course. We will take a look at the student links to learn how to locate the Mastering A&P study area, and we will examine the study area looking specifically at tools that are very useful for helping students understand some of the more challenging concepts covered in anatomy and physiology. We have logged into Canvas and selected an anatomy and physiology course at this point. To migrate to the Mastering A&P resources, we will begin by locating and clicking on My Lab and Mastering in the navigation bar on the left of the screen. Please be aware that the My Lab and Mastering option may be located somewhere else within the navigation bar. It may be located higher up the navigation bar or further down depending on your instructor's preferences for the navigation bar setup. Now we will click on My Lab and Mastering. At that point, we are redirected to links to Mastering A&P resources. The first screen that appears only shows two links, the Welcome to Mastering A&P and Mastering Assignments links. You will need to click on the word More to see links to additional resources. I now want us to take a look at the study tools. Click on Study Area. You will need to ensure that you have pop-up blockers turned off in order to be redirected to the study area. The study area has a variety of tools and resources that can benefit the anatomy and physiology student in both the lecture and the lab. The focus of this particular video will be to examine tools beneficial to the lecture component. Let's begin with the study by chapter. Click on study by chapter. It will open a new page that will show all of the chapters numbers and titles for the text. Let's select a chapter. Chapter 12 is considered one of the more challenging topics covered in anatomy and physiology. So we'll use Chapter 12 as our example to examine available resources. When you click on Chapter 12, it will open to a page that has chapter-specific study materials. Let's start at the top of the page and work our way down. Looking at the top, we can see a section titled Test Yourself. Each of these tools affords the student the opportunity to evaluate their knowledge and understanding of the chapter material. It is important that students practice answering questions over the subject material before being assessed by your instructor. You will click on the assessment form you wish to complete. We are going to select the chapter practice test. As students work on the practice test or any of the other assessment components in the Test Yourself section, students are able to see their answers and receive immediate feedback. For this demonstration, we are just going to click on a few answers at the bottom of the practice test. Students also have the option to select See Results. After selecting See Results, a panel opens on the right-hand side of the screen. This panel provides the student with information regarding how many answers were correct, how many were incorrect, and how many remained unanswered. If you wish to attempt the questions again, you must select the Restart Start Over button to clear your answer selections before beginning again. Let's return to the Chapter 12 study area and examine some of the other resources that are available for students. If we scroll down slightly, we will see that the next items listed on the page are links to the e-text. If you purchased access to the e-text, you will be able to click to be redirected to specific sections of the chapter. If we scroll further down the page, we will come to a, a section called Extend Your Knowledge. The resources in this section will vary from chapter to chapter. Let's look at some of the items available. A link to the glossary and flashcard components of Mastering A&P are provided within this area. 
There are also several items included in this section that provide the learner with visual resources to aid in comprehension of the subject matter. Some of the visual resources include the A&P Flix animations, the interactive physiologies, and video tutors. Let's explore an A&P Flix. The first item selected was the A&P Flix resting membrane potential animation. The A&P Flix animations typically cover challenging topics that are difficult for the student to grasp when reading the text alone. These animations provide information about the topic along with a detailed animation that is very helpful to visual learners. I highly recommend these visual resources to students in my anatomy and physiology courses because the animations help students understand events that occur at the molecular and cellular levels. We are now returning to the Chapter 12 Study by Chapter page. From there, we can navigate back to the home page for the study area. I want to point out that the resources listed in the Extend Your Knowledge section are also categorized by type, and each type has their own direct link from the home page. In closing this video on making the most of Pearson's A&P Study Tools for lecture, I would like to encourage you to explore the study area for yourself. I would also like to wish you the best as you begin your journey of learning the intricate workings of human anatomy and physiology.